negotiate and to motivate fail, then we will be forced to litigate. And we certainly will. We will be unrelenting. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for centuries, the narrative of our people has been sketched by persons from outside the region, many of whom understood neither the history nor the cultures that have shaped our societies. Even today, they are writers, commentators, and even diplomats who depict us as a rum punch civilization or a sun, sea, and sand society. Some have even described our workers as lazy and our work ethic as lethargic. This has occurred, of course, because we are caught in the horns of a dilemma. On the one hand, because of our dependence in tourism, we ourselves promote the notion of carefree leisure and the idea of a don't worry, be happy culture. That is the idea that makes many of our countries appealing to tourists seeking a Caribbean paradise. Palm trees, bright sunshine, cooling breezes, and a good glass, as they say, of rum punch. But while that is part of our presentation of ourselves, and indeed, it is a valid part of what we are, it is not even a significant part of our entire story or of who we are. Much more relevant is what generations of people have worked to accomplish in this region on the platform of deprivation that was inherited in slavery's, slavery's abolition and the end of indentured servitude. With nothing more than the strength of our will, the talents of our wits, our people have made something of our countries and of ourselves. It was our people that built secondary schools and universities. It was our people that constructed roads, bridges, seaports, and airports. It was our people that established hospitals, improved medical care, and created social welfare programs. No other region in the world with such very small populations and limited resources such as ours has achieved nearly so much. Despite being robbed of our material well-being for centuries, the Caribbean has acted as a crucible of excellence. Today in Antigua and Barbuda, we boast of a lofty vision to transform Antigua and Barbuda into an economic powerhouse in the Caribbean. We can boast our Nobel Prize winners from Guadeloupe, St. Lucia, and Trinidad and Tobago. We can hail our world-class writers from Guyana in the South to Jamaica in the North. We can celebrate our cultural artists drawn from every corner, every nook, and every cranny. We can applaud our cricketers, our entrepreneurs, our bankers, our jurists, our priests. We can be proud of our leaders who have played important roles on the international stage. Leaders such as the most honorable E.J. Patterson, who is here with us today. And I'm quite sure that during the next two days, that we will gain from his wisdom and his experience. And sir, I want to thank you for coming and participating in this forum.